this is my July book haul. Today I've got eight books for you, two of which I purchased myself and six of which are review copies. So the one I wanted to get started with arrived in a really interesting package and so I made sure not to open it in its entirety and it says, Caution! Allergic to the world! Will Maddie risk everything for love? Hashtag everything everything book. So as you might be able to see, this is wrapped in bubble wrap. I feel like I saw this go around at BA. It's coming out on September 15th and it's about a girl who's allergic to the world and hasn't left her house in 17 years. Going through it there seem to be lots of like dictionary definitions and sort of text messages and forms and stuff like that. Then you guys might remember that last year I did a review of a Dutch book that had been translated into English which is a book from Pushkin Press. And it was The Letter for the King and it was one of those books that got voted like the best children's book of the last 40 years in the Netherlands. Good news, the sequel is almost out. So I have a proof copy here. It is called The Secrets of the Wildwood by Tonke Dracht. And I'm actually going to do something quite exciting around this book later this month. I don't want to tell you too much about it, but I just wanted to let you guys know this is coming out in September. Then I also have a confession to make. I have never read a Judy Bloom book. And when I let one of my friends know at Pan Macmillan that um, I had never read any Judy Bloom, she said that this should be fixed immediately. So they sent me her most recent book, In the Unlikely Event. This is actually an adult book and it came with a bunch of really cool 50s goodies. So it came with some lipstick and hair rollers and hairspray. This book is about three generations of families, but it's also about a town called Elizabeth in New Jersey where three planes fell from the sky within three months. Next is a book that I requested for review ages ago, but I totally forgot to show you and it is just one of my favorite things ever. Interstellar Cinderella. This is a gorgeous picture book from Chronicle um, by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Meg Hunt. And it's a retelling of Cinderella but in this case Cinderella is a girl who loves to fix spaceships. Once upon a planetoid amid her tools and sprockets a girl named Cinderella dreamed of fixing fancy rockets. The illustrations and colors are absolutely gorgeous. The story is really adorable. Whether you want to read this for yourself or buy it for your kids or your cousins or any young people you know, this is so, so, so good. Then the next one is a very special proof copy. It's only one of 40. Again, it's coming from Pushkin and this was described to me in an email as Finnish, feminist, and fantasy. And I can't really say no to that. It is called Marasi, Marasi, The Red Abbey Chronicles, Hear Her Story, Never Forget. The author is Swedish and this book has been translated into eight languages. As you can see, it's quite a quick read and with those three keywords, there's no way I'm not gonna read this. Then I recently went to a booktuber meetup in London, which is really fun. We went to a bunch of different bookshops and at the London Review Bookshop, I decided to buy a beautiful hardback copy of The Shepherd's Life. A Tale of the Lake District by James Rebanks. I don't know if you can quite get the beauty of this cover on video, but it feels so nice and the colors are absolutely amazing. Now, I have traveled to sort of the north of England a couple of times. I've been to Yorkshire, I've been to the Peak District. I haven't quite made it up to the Lake District, but I've heard loads and loads of great things about this. And I was quite intrigued by the thought of reading a book about a shepherd. And at Yelk, I bought a book at the Electric Monkey Stand, and it is Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. I've been seeing lots of graphics of this online. Actually, it's quite funny because it's also being advertised as for people who love E. Lockhart. And I obviously freaking love We Were Liars, which is a book that's published by Hockey Books where I work. And then sort of the allusion in the title to the virgin suicides as well, just convinced me to uh, pick it up and give it a go. So I had two friends who had a really close relationship and about what happens when one of them passes away. And then finally I have The Fair Fight by Anna Freeman. Two women, two worlds, one way out. Let's look at that cover, that is so cool. This is a debut novel. So set in the 18th century and on the back it describes three different characters and it ends with the phrase, let the fight begin. And this is from Orion, by the way. As always, if you want more information about any of these books, I'll put links to them in the description so you can read a little bit more about the summary on Goodreads. By the way, you can also follow me on Goodreads if you're interested because I always keep track of everything that I'm reading and I post my star ratings on there as well. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!